Hi, I'm Steve from Chemline, and as part of Chemline's commitment to excellent customer service, I'm going to show you how to clean your Fusion AP spray gun and parts. You want to start out with two buckets of solvent, MEK or acetone in them. You also need your appropriate size drill bits, which will come with your mix chamber, and a soft plastic or brass brush. You'll also want white lithium grease on hand for when the parts are clean and you're ready to reassemble the gun. Fuel rules of thumb, you want to be careful not to soak the parts in solvent for long periods of time. It can start breaking down the O-rings and they'll need to be replaced more often. Once you've disassembled your gun, put all of your A parts into the A bucket and all the B parts into the B bucket. Once you've disassembled the gun, take the fluid head and quickly immerse that in solvent. Once you remove it from solvent, check each orifice in the head of the gun. We have two holes, one on the A and one on the B. It's actually where the filters go in. It sits at about a 60 degree angle. We want to make sure that we're free and clear there on each side. When we're done with that, we'll take our brush and we'll clean out the filter housing itself where it fits in. Rinse it with some clear solvent. And we'll set it aside to dry. Once dry, we'll put a little lube on our hands and we'll rub a thin layer on that part. When you use a brush to clean it, always make sure we're using a soft plastic or a brass brush. The reason we don't want to use a hardened steel brush is because they remove paint quickly. If we're removing paint from inside the Orify, the O-rings will not fit accurately and we'll have a leak. We always want to use something soft to clean our gun with. After we clean the head of our gun, we want to clean the filter cartridge parts very well, including the cartridge itself with MEK or acetone. After we do that, we'll do the same to clean the side seal cartridge parts, and then we'll be ready for reassembly. When we replace the mix chamber, we'll also want to change side seals. Take the 60 mesh filter off, put that into the B side, the post and the ball and the cartridge itself, side seal and side seal cartridge. Good and filter housing. Clean MEK. Use a brush when needed to remove any grease or any built up poly. Filter cartridge itself. We'll reassemble the Filter cartridge assembly, the ball goes in first, followed by the spring, and then the post. You screw it back down, the post threads in, just has to be below flush. It's ready for reassembly, and our side seal. O-ring goes in first. Side seal's complete and verified by it bouncing. Now for the A-side parts. While we're cleaning our parts, removing things with clean solvent. You can use compressed air while you use your brush. Air does a great job of knocking things out of small orify. Ready for reassembly. Ball, spring on our post for our check valve for the A side, 60 mesh filter, side seal cartridge, side seal spring, and the actual side seal itself, a little lube on the O-ring, place it, verify. Good to go. You're going to take your air cap, clean it off. Whenever we replace the mix chamber, we also want to change our side seals. You don't have to replace the whole cartridge, but you do have to replace the side seal button itself. We do this because it's intimate contact between the side seal 
and the mix chamber. They're machine parts, so if one is wearing, the other is too. Here we can clean this real quick. Solvent from front and back. I'm gonna drill bit down it quickly. And again, verify. We can see through it. We're good to go. Just get a thin film of white lithium as well. You can also put ultra-fine sandpaper or emery cloth on a flat surface for a chamber that's scratched to resurface it. Most mixed chambers will last approximately 20 drum sets. If you notice any scratches, you should replace it or refinish it. Over time, the orifice is going to expand just through erosion. It's hardened steel and it will wear out. They do not last forever. We're gonna throw your mix ratio off if one orify gets larger than the other. You should always check that with your drill bit. Seals should be replaced every 20 drum sets, as I said before. For a quick clean, you don't need to take O-rings off. For a bigger, deeper clean, if you had a catastrophic gun problem, we want to puff all the O-rings for a deeper, longer soak. We recommend that the gun be cleaned every day that it's used. Some people clean their guns only once or twice every few weeks. When they do that, you tend to have more stoppages and more wear on the O-rings. They tend to need repair more often. Every part gets dipped into the solvent quickly and then back out, maybe give it a blast of compressed air, and then every or orifice needs to get checked, regardless if it's on the head or the mix chamber or the side seals. We want to make everything is checked with an appropriate size drill bit. Finally, we always put a little white lithium grease on all the parts before we reassemble. Thanks for watching this video on cleaning your Fusion AP spray gun presented by Chemline. Click here to watch the next video in our series or head to thechemline.net to learn more about our company. You can also subscribe to get more videos in our series by hitting the subscribe button on YouTube. Thanks for watching.